Do you love lists? Me too! I feel like that's maybe part of the reason I really like the planners. So in today's video, we're going to make some lists in our planners. Woo! The first one is this 24 things to do in 2024 list. It's kind of like a bucket list, but it's some little things you'd like to do in 2024 as opposed to the more generic list like see the pyramids. I've made this a little bit later into January, so I was slightly more biased as to what I wanted my year to look like really, and just thought of fun little things to do. For these lists I'm making today, I'm mainly covering up the currently pages with the sticker paper in my happy planner, as I wanted to have a full empty sheet and the priorities and whatever else is there just doesn't suit it unfortunately. I find it easier to cover up with the sticker paper as I'm horrible with evenly sticking things down. Always ends up all crinkly and horrible. I used these New Year's stickers from Caitlin Plants. I completely forgot I bought them for the New Year spread, so thought it's perfect to use it for this. Just sprinkle them around the spread in between all the items. I didn't spend too much time thinking of these, it's just a little bit of thought that's kind of like almost like cheating, like I'll be going to go wild, so I'd like to make at least one planner friend there, so I put that down. Some other items are genuine things I'd like to do, but now that it's on the list, it's that much more motivating to do it this year. Like, I'd like to reread all the Harry Potter books, or try to play pickleball, or visit a local museum, because I never go and explore my city. And some of your typical bucket list kind of items, like try a completely new dish. Now, I actually hate this. Ugh. So I've used some of the letters from Live Love Posh to do the title and it's much better. Maybe I should have put learn lettering in there as I'm just not happy with most of my titles. I'll be a supplementary item, a sneaky little number 25. It'll be a secret between us, no one will know. The next one is the one I'm super excited about and it's the secret note to myself. I just wanted to use the little stamp stickers from Plants and Blanks as actual stamps, well kind of. So I made the cute little envelope doodles and I stuck them on the sheet to make a little pocket. I used the love note stickers too just to add a little bit on decoration in there and it matches the theme, doesn't it? I have learned my lesson and stenciled the title there as it was just too much to cover all the sticker paper before. Don't want to do that again. For the little notes themselves, I think it'll be prompts like what I hope this year will be like and such things like that as some fun time capsule kind of thing as it's always fun to read how hopeful you were at the start of the year. I do like the idea of time capsules. I always jot something down about the upcoming year, like a letter to myself, the things like uh, what I think I'll do well at, and what I think my best memories will be, and what I'll think will happen just to read later and see how my expectations match the cruel reality. For this next one, we're making happy and sad lists. It's in my big happy planner journal and I actually never journal about what makes me sad per se. Of course I journal about a day that was perhaps a bit more sad, but never prompted myself to think about the little things, you know. And the happy list too, I don't stop to reflect what makes me happy per se, so it was really fun to put this together. I used the Live Love Posh stickers from Hello Winter sticker book and selected a girl that looks happy and the girl that looked the saddest. I had to use big letters too as naturally, I just cannot come up with infinite items to put in there, especially for the sad category, which is a good problem to have. Maybe if it was the annoyed category or instead of the sad, but that feels a little bit mean. It does, it does feel a bit mean. Most of the sad things are videos I've seen and they made me cry, all those reels and whatever else. I've tried and put the first thing that came to mind as there's always an opportunity to make another list, am I right? So this has to be the fun experience and something to look back on and see what bits I put on there. Now that I look at it more closely, the girl on the sad bit does look sad. It totally matches, she totally does. We are moving on to the classic happy planner and this is the only functional list I make in the video, but it's the one that I desperately needed to make and that's the subscriptions tracker. And by subscriptions I mean basically any money that's coming out, so it includes bills and that like the internet and my phone and yeah whatever else. I printed a little tracker on the regular sheet and the sticker paper and stuck them together. I made them in Canva and yeah printed them out and it makes it a little bit more bulky as the printer paper I have is very thin. I, of course, had to decorate it too, so I used the green fun floral from Plants and Blanks for that. And I just wrote out all of my subscriptions and it'll be good to count down how much money is coming out of my bank account per month. Good and scary, right? <laughs> Most importantly, I'll have the yearly subscriptions as I always go for that option if possible and then of course I forget and get a fun surprise that month. 
I really want to get better with budgeting this year, so I'll flick back onto this page and we'll see what's coming up and I'll improve my budgeting, I'm sure. Finally, it's the then and now list. It's kind of like a currently page, but you divide it into two. You guessed it, first is the then and the second is the now. Or the other way around. I use the grid washi to divide the page and these cute little boxes I never use for anything to write down all of the currently prompts. And I use the plans and blanks lovely florals to decorate it a bit more. But I don't know how I feel about that to be fair. Could have maybe just left it floral free and it would have that cleaner look I think. But what's done is done. I think maybe you're supposed to fill in the then portion first, but I'm not sure really. I thought I'll fill in the now portion now. And then, once the planner is towards the end, I'll fill in the then portion, and that would essentially serve as a fun time capsule thing too. Oh, so confusing with all the nows and thens. I do miss when the happy planner had the currently prompts on this page. It was really fun to look back on things like what I was currently drinking and eating and such little things as these are what usually gets left out. We do tend to document books and stuff like that, and the TV shows we're watching, but, but not the drinks or snacks, so this is their moment to shine. <laughs> I do like currently pages, they're so fun. What list are you guys making? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, you might also want to check this one out that's all about the seven ways you can use your currently pages. Thanks so much for watching and I shall see you in my next craft session.